welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie and I love to make things with joy. And this is my hashtag Friday Sews video. Now, if you like to make things with joy or just watch people who are into this sewing passion, please like, subscribe, and share. Now, the hashtag Friday Sews uh, movement was started by Je Jenny Weissner. It's part of the uh, Friday Creators, Creators group on Facebook. And it's a collection of YouTube creators or people who love to sew. And it's almost kind of like a little report card for yourself or a little bit of accountability about what you're working on for the week. So there's usually a, a, a forum topic to get you started. And then you just kind of talk about what's going on in your workshop for this week. The forum topic this week is, what kind of florals do you like? Do you like big um, flowers, or would you like little ditzy um, prints? Hmm, let me think. Okay, it's pretty safe to say I'm not scared of a print. <laughs> I, um, I tend to think I'm a big flower person rather than a, um, a ditzy print. I will show you a few things that have some large flowers on them that I have made. I can, I can think of a, a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go with large flower print. Now let's talk about what I've been working on this week. It has been a great week. Um, I've had plenty of time to sew. Um, uh, my dad is, he, he, you know, he's needing more rest now. So there's more time a little later in the day. Um, I, people ask me all the time, how do you get so much stuff done? Um, well, I've been sewing for like, 50, almost 50 years. <laughs> so I kind of know, um, I kind of know my way around my sewing machine. And I also now know a lot about myself. I know I'm a visual person. And because I have a dedicated room where I organized it, it it's almost embarrassing to say this is almost like looking at the inside of my mind. <laughs> so I know where everything is. I know how I sew. I know what techniques I like to use. So when I wake up in the morning and I'm in my pajamas, that's the freshest part of the day for me. And I go ahead and I sew until it's time to start being part of the household. household. So that usually gives me maybe an hour or two in the morning to sew, except for Sunday when I don't sew. And I think that's how I get a lot of stuff done. So let me talk about some of the things I got done this week. All right, let me take that back. Sometimes I'm done with major construction. In other words, everything is done except for buttonholes or buttons, or if I have some kind of issue. On a few of the um, uh, items that I worked on this week, I have button problems because um, my button source is limited walk-in and I usually, I would have to sh um, shop in my stash of buttons or in the case of some of these things I did this week, I, I'm gonna have to go online and, and, and buy buttons and get them sent here. So everything's mostly done. Okay, so the first thing I finished this week is Simplicity 8911. And that's this lounger or dress that has this kind of little, um, well, not really A-line, but it has this drape and this kind of, I don't know. I know what to call it. Let me see, what is the analyst? No, they don't describe it any particular way, but it does, it kind of reminds me of that Issey Mayaki dress I made last week that I enjoyed so much. And I made this dress in this beautiful, mustard and blue print Georgette. And it's very flowy, very, it's very, very nice. I was really pleased, very simple pattern, uh, two pattern pieces front and back, neckline is stitched. It was very simple to make. I think it'll be nice to be breezing around the house in it. The next thing I finished was this Nomi pattern with KGB style, this double, this color block dress with these bucket pockets. Absolutely loved it. Um, half of it was done with that sparkle Ankara and the other half with that brilliant blue. 
and here are the bucket pockets. I have not made the buttonholes yet. I frankly, I'm torn. I don't know whether I want buttonholes on this or if I just want the, um, the, uh, the button. Let me show you the buttons. I put them on here. Look at those. I got these from Soology at um, Hobby Lobby, and I think that they're gonna be fabulous. It also has epaulets on the sleeve. I'll show you the whole thing on my makes video. The next thing I finished was this new look 6710 pattern. I'm not putting these back in the drawer with my other stuff. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite patterns. It's gonna go into my crate that I keep with just my favorites. The skirt was super easy to make, two-sided, one pattern piece, elasticized waist. But what's magic is this jacket. See if I can, that's the back. It is four pattern pieces and it turns out it fits my Apple dumpling self like a dream. So let me show you the skirt first. The skirt, super simple, elasticized waist. I did reverse it. <laughs> so the other side <laughs> is that beautiful gold fabric that I used to make the ballroom dress. It's the last of it. I put a safety pin at the back of my skirt to let me know where the back, back is. But isn't she beautiful? I had to kind of work the pieces so it does have a seam in the front, but that doesn't bother me. I'll just turn it around to the back. <laughs> and the other side is that tissue um, strength on Cara fabric. When I washed the wax out of it, it became super floaty and super soft. So I decided the two of them together were a just right skirt. So that's the skirt, super simple. Like I tell you, it's my favorite kind of thing now. And I wanna show you the jacket. The jacket is super simple. This is one pattern piece, the front. The sleeve in the front is one pa sleeve in the back and the back panel. And of course I reversed it. <laughs> So, I reversed it and put my travel khaki on the other side. I will model them for you, I promise you. But when I put it on, it fits so well. I'm so pleased, new look. I was very attracted to it, but I didn't know what I was going to make. I love the elastic. I love the zipper. I love how it fits. So I will show you how that is. So I made this double-sided because I'm trying to do a travel wardrobe and I have, and my palette is um, gold as far as accessories, but the mustard, the navy and the brown and lots of brilliant blue. All right, so that was that new look pattern. The next pattern I uh, worked on this week is Simplicity 9335 and that's this uh, elastic waisted um, uh, skirt with these giant pockets on the sides. And these are two flaps that tie in the front. And I made mine out of this khaki. I wanted it to be part of my travel wardrobe. There's an inner skirt and pockets on the outside. And I will show you that on my makes as well. But it was really, it was not very hard to make and I think I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of it. It's a little bit more blue. <laughs> this is Vogue 9305. You know you've seen this in, in the book and wondered about it. Well, I made it so you can wonder no more. I did view, I believe, uh, B and C. I thought it would be really nice on my trip. Um, I think it would be very modest and the color would be brilliant. And because I use this fabric, it's very, you know, you can see through it, but not quite. You can't really, but the air, it makes me think the air will pass through. 
and here's that little wiggly pleat piece that's at the bottom and I will show you how that um, I'll model that for you and I made the the large pants that go with it so it'll be nice and flowy and um, I think that's it with the blue I think now the last of the brilliant blue uh, material that I was rocking this week or the thread I was using this week is the assembly line oversized shirt which I really really loved but I'm currently in breakdown over buttons. <laughs> I have seen the exact right color, um, but I think they're out at Pings. But I really did love this sh shirt. It's extra long, sewn in pockets. Really, really nice. Um, there's one thing I don't like about it, but we'll talk about that in my makes. Now, I don't want to say, you guys, I'm still on a high from... <laughs> my teddy bear jacket, <laughs> which I absolutely love making it making. It is finally finished with its donut lining. I am so in love with how it turned out. Now I'm getting ready to work on my son's elephant jacket, but they'll be ready in time for Halloween. Now the next outfit I worked on was New Looks 6609 which is this beautiful tied um, front top and this handkerchief um, uh, feature on the, on the skirt bottom. And I had this fabric that I'd gotten from uh, Fabric Mart and I think it came out really, really, really nice. I love the flutter sleeves. I love the tie in the front. Now, I'm not exactly sure about this skirt. It might just be a little bit too, high for me in the center, but I'm short, so I'll, I'm, I'll have to try. When I try it on for the makes, we'll see how it goes. But it turned out very, very nice, and that's one of the things I was working on this week. While we're still in the red zone, this is Vogue 8193, and I believe this is View C with the deep v, um, with a deep V in the front, and I did it in this beautiful red fabric with these fabulous sleeves with the pleats and such. Alas, no buttons. I'm gonna, I, I'm just gonna have to order them online. I'm gonna have to find, you know how buttons, you really need to kind of see them. So, but she's already cuffs and everything. We just need some buttons. All right. I wanted to, I had cut out the, the, the shirt and I thought, how cool would this be as a shirt dress? And so I chose View B. Oh, you can see my little, <laughs> my little dress. <laughs> and I extended it and made the same shirt with those fabulous sleeves into a shirt dress with the same problem, no buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as I get some red buttons, um, I will model this for you in my makes for, for you to see what I did. And my next piece is McCall's 7541. It's this beautiful little blouse with the cape like in the back. Really, really lovely. I really like it. And it has like a little cape in the back and the inner shirt is in the center there, really nice. Really, really floaty and beautiful. I think it'd be really nice over some of my pants and skirts, especially like white linen pants, or I have these black, I have a black jumpsuit. <laughs> Don't laugh, Kathy, I, I can hear you laughing all the way in Minnesota. <laughs> hey, phew, that's been a, it, it's been a really great week. I've been super productive. I think it's because I've enjoyed everything I've made. Y'all, I'm not sewing all day. I'm just sewing in the morning. And if my dad takes a, a deep nap, I might get a, a few more minutes in the um, afternoon, but there's too much Netflix and Ted Lasso and stuff like that for me to be sewing all day. <laughs> and Law and Order. <laughs> so, um, this is it for this week. I hope that you're getting a chance to even get 15, 20, or 30 minutes in your sewing place. I hope so because it's so fills 
the heart to create and make things like this. So have a great Friday. We will see you next Friday and keep making with joy. See you soon.